I started right before the merger in, in 1968. And we've had various operating session schemes since then. I think we had one in 68, and then we moved up to I think, 1974, and then we were about 1980. Right now we're in like 86 or 87, and eventually we're going to go to 1994, 1995. So that way, that's when the Burlington Northern ceased existence. So then we'll start over again. Yeah, we have operating sessions. We have a, a round robin group that meets here. We meet every Thursday night. Uh, I've done that for years and years. Have anywhere from seven to ten, twelve people, depending on the night that show up. Typical operating session, we run 45, 50 trains. I build a lot of engines, paint a lot of stuff as you go around the layout. But probably a third of the cars on here I painted, and most of the engines I've painted over the years. The the control system we have is something that. Uh, one time in Model Railroader, they had an article, and we built four of those about, oh geez, 20 years ago already. And I built four more here the last couple years, so, and they work nice. Uh, the geographic part of the layout right now is really from Lincoln to, to Billings with the old CB and Q, and then from the Billings on down to Seattle was old Northern Pacific and Great Northern. And when we were in our 1968 mode, that's how we operated. Those units would, would interchange up there in the Billings yard up here and go back toward Lincoln, where the other stuff would run back and forth between one of my hidden yards, which was Minneapolis and the West Coast. Physically, uh, the layout is, is a complete double deck all the way around the layout. There are actually three or four other levels that you don't see that allow me to get trains in and off the layout as an interchange. But uh, just basically, you know, one by four construction, uh, cantilever brought off the walls. The reason that the various sections are the heights they are is uh, the very first section I built goes over the top of my washer and dryer and that kind of set the <laughs> tone for everything. Uh, it also allows me, if you, was over on the other side, I have three great big file cabinets underneath the layout that, again, was, that was set the height of it because they had to go over top of that because I've got all kinds of records that I have to keep over there. Uh, I didn't get too low on these because uh, it's hard to see them otherwise. Uh, the lower levels over here are very convenient to operate out of a, of a regular folding chair. Uh, you know, they're, they're nice heights. You can sit here and operate everything. and. One of the gentlemen that operates for me, that's the reason he likes to work over here, because he can sit down. And he rolls back and forth from one end of the layout to the other and does his work and he you know, has a good time. I, I like the parts that I've got the scenery done on. Uh, that's always been uh, my really weakest point and I, I don't like doing it because it, uh, it just, so like where we're at right now, if you look back down here, most of this end of the layout is done except for a few pieces down through here. And there's a big, a big long area over on the other side that's probably 70 feet long that I have gotten done. And when you run the trains down the hills over there, they look real nice. <laughs>